today I'm going to show you how you can make a sampled based R&B track in Serato Studio. No external gear, just my laptop. My name is Stefan and this video is sponsored by Serato. So I'm going to start this beat by using one of the samples found in Serato Studio. But of course you can sample anything. And I'm looking for something with a 90s R&B vibe. Cool, here we go. Let's increase our tempo to 140 beats per minute and drag this sample into the sample deck. As you can hear, it's done a fantastic job of speeding up the sample. It sounds real clean. It has also changed the key of our project to match the key of the sample. Now any other sample we import or instrument we load up will be set to this key also. Finally, it has also automatically detected some good places for sample chops and has placed them on eight pads which we can play via our laptop keyboard. And if it's not quite right, we can lock in the samples that we do like and have it find alternative sample chops for us, or we can find them ourselves. But I quite like what it's done already, so I'm going to give myself four bars and record this in. Great, so that sounds dope, and I know exactly what drum pattern would vibe with this. So let's put up some drums and record a pattern right here on our keyboard. Now that's a vibe. Right, so next we want to add some bass. And this calls for an analog bass, something nice and round. Flex Muga, this is the one. And I could imagine this is probably inspired by the Moog or Moog, however you like to say it. Now, as previously mentioned, our instruments have been put in the same key as our sample, F sharp major. And it's put each note of the scale on our eight pads here. Seven notes of the scale plus the octave, giving us eight notes. And I like how they've used number keys right here because if you know your scales and your number system, it becomes real simple to play as you automatically know what note each number corresponds to. However, even if you don't know this stuff, it's still super simple to play. I think something real simple like that works well here as it gives the sample some space. But we could also introduce some sort of walk down right here. We've got options, but I'm going to keep it simple today. All right, so let's keep going and let's add another instrument. Let's head to mallets and percussion. So in addition to having our notes in the right key, we can also use a feature called auto chord, which allows us to play chords on our laptop keyboard or even a MIDI keyboard should we choose. Our chords are in the same key as the project setting and we're in a major key here so our first chord will be major followed by a minor, and then minor, then major, then major, minor and diminished. Which is perfect because you're always going to play the right major or minor chord or diminished chord no matter what key you're in. By default, it uses three note chords, triads, but we can also increase this to four notes, giving us major and minor sevenths, as well as the diminished seven chord for our last chord. We can increase it to five, giving us ninths, to six, giving us elevenths, and to seven, giving us thirteenths. And lastly, we have an option to play four notes, but played with the sixth as opposed to the seventh. And this fill dial we have right here, this alters the separation between each note, helping us create a human feel all whilst playing on a laptop keyboard. So we have a lot to play with here. My track already has chords, so I'm not going to use this feature today, but we'll use the playing key feature once again to add a melody on top of this track. Cool. 
cool. So I'm really liking the sound, but it sounds a bit dry in context. So let's add some delay to give it a bit more character. Okay, so that sounds dope. Now check this. Let's change the key. absolutely love this feature. Everything shifts including the sample instantaneously and it leaves the drums intact. Brilliant. I really love this feature as I mentioned in the last video if you're working with artists and you send off a track and they say this is not in the right key for me it literally takes a second to get your project back up change the key re-export send it back over to the artist. As you can see, the workflow in Serato Studio makes it super quick and super easy to get ideas down. I literally created the foundation of that beat in minutes and all on a laptop, which is fantastic if you're just getting started with music or even if you have been making music for a while and you have your laptop but you don't have your MIDI keyboard with you, you can still create. I've tried to produce in other doors on my laptop and it's very long-winded. With this, I feel that I can actually play to some degree um, enough to get ideas down. But anyways, enough of me talking. Serato Studio is available for free, but you can also get the full version for just $9.99 a month which includes extra features as well as more sounds etc but you can also get two months of the full version for free by using the link down in the description below let me know what you thought of some of the features i showcased today and if you already use serato studio let me know how you find it and what some of your favorite features are i've been stefan and as always happy beat making <laughs>